Praise God, fellowship. Praise God. Amen, amen. Good to see everybody on this rainy, rainy day in California. As you can see, it's been raining all night. <laughs> it, let up, it let up a little bit when I left the house. And it started as soon as I, as I got to the location. It started up again. Amen. So I, I went out the house doing a break. And then right as I got in the car, it came back. <laughs> amen, amen. Well, today is uh, Poetic Lessons. Poetic Lessons. And uh, we've had a lot of information the past two weeks about getting ourselves together in the spirit to be able to walk in victory. We talked about the strongholds and how to how yesterday we talked about how to defeat the strongholds and talk about being committed. Now, the, the long version of today's lesson is, uh, John, the, the whole, I couldn't fit the whole lesson, is your victory is at hand now. The entire title is Poetic Lessons, Your Victory is at Hand now let's put your put your hand on your chest put your hand on your chest my victory is at hand now say it again my victory is at hand now one more time my victory is at hand now now we we went through 10 steps yesterday we went through 10 steps of what to do to break strongholds. Once you know, once you know what to do, your victory is at hand. When you know how to deal with the enemy, when you know how to pray, when you know how to speak the word, when you know how to feed the mind as a man thinks who he is, so you know what to say, life and death in the power of the tongue. When you know these things, when you know these things, your victory is at hand. It means your victory is in your hands because now you know how to defeat the stronghold. Now what you do with it, now what you do with the information is in your hands. Do you, do you act on it? Do you act on it? Or do you just read it and think about it? No, we don't act on it. We do what? We do it. We don't just listen to it. We don't just talk about it. We learn it and we do it. We learn it and we do it. The word says, James 1.22, James 1.22, be doers of the word and not hearers only. So the past two weeks, the past four lessons, waiting and trusting, breaking strongholds, part one and part two. And today your victory is at hand is how to defeat any stronghold. I don't care what the stronghold is. You apply yesterday's 10 steps to whatever stronghold you're facing, whatever the stronghold is. You apply the same things we talked about yesterday. Now, if you missed yesterday, be sure to listen to yesterday's message. It, that, that message is so important. The computer is trying to block me from making it a mini nuggets. So just pray, pray for my computer. I'm trying to make that yesterday's lesson a mini nugget. And the, the, the computer was acting all crazy last night. So you, we, we know we know how powerful yesterday's lesson was. So even if there's no mini nugget, just go straight to the sermon and learn the 10 steps to do to defeat and break every stronghold. Because now your victory, see the devil is trying to block your victory. The devil is trying to block the victory. So when you know your victory is at hand, and when you do it, when you do what you need to do, there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. There is nothing the devil can do to stop you. Because you're now walking in your authority. You're now speaking a word over your stronghold. You're now having no fear and standing still. You're now capturing every thought that's not like God. See, the power is right here. I give, he said, I give you authority. Jesus said, I give you the authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. We got the power right here. Right here, 
We got it. We got it right here. Amen. We got it right here. We got it right here. And we pray right now. We just say, thank you, Lord. We say, thank you, Jesus. In advance for my victory. We say, thank you, Lord, in advance for your victory. You speak the victory like we said yesterday. You got to see the victory. I don't care what you're going through. See the victory first. See the victory. See it. Now faith. Review. Review. See the victory. Now faith. The substance of things. What hope for the victory itself. See the victory first. Is a substance for the victory. And the evidence unseen is God moving mightily in your life. To bring whatever you're praying for to pass. So we don't panic first. We don't panic first. We see the victory first. You got to change your mind. Change your life. Lay it all in line. See the victory first. See it first. The devil doesn't want you to see it. And our commitment, the victory is at hand, is your ability to rebuke the devil and see it. Go ahead. See whatever it is you need. See it what you need. See what you need first. See what you need first. You got to see it. And when you see it, when you see it, you can believe it. But if you don't, if you can't see it, you can't believe it. And the devil is trying to block your seeing. The devil is trying to block your seeing it. Listen, listen, listen. See, when you, when you commit, this is a commitment. When you know your victory is at hand, the only thing you have to do is make sure you commit to yourself. Commit to yourself. You got to make a commitment to yourself. You now know what to do. You now know what to do. Commit to yourself. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do what I need to do to get this stronghold off of me. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to get this stronghold off of me right now. In Jesus' name, I'm going to do whatever. Let's say it together. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to get this stronghold off of me. Say it again. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to get this stronghold off of me. And do this. Off. Put your hand up. Off. I want this stronghold off of me. Get, get off me. Get off me, stronghold. I want this stronghold gone, destroyed, annihilated in Jesus' name. Your victory is at hand. As a man thinks, so he is. You speak it. Speak it. Hear it. Think it. Do it. Walk in your victory. Once you speak it and you hear it and you think it, walk in it. Even before you see it, even before you see it, walk in your victory. How do you do that? How do you do that? If you're walking in your victory, even before you see it in, a, in the flesh, when you're walking in expectation, people see you and think the miracle is already done because you already walk in it even before it manifests in your life, you're walking in expectancy. You're walking in the victory. Even before you receive the victory, you know it's coming. So you're prepared for it. You got to glide in your stride. The joy of the Lord is all over you because I can't wait. Oh, my victory is at hand. My victory is at hand. I can't wait. You're excited because when you pray, believe you have received it, you're excited. If you really believe you have received it, you are excited about your healing, excited about provision, excited about whatever you're praying for shall come to pass. So you saw it and you believed it. You believe you have received it. And now you, oh Lord, I can't wait, Lord. Oh, I can't wait for my breakthrough. I can't wait for provision. I can't wait for the blessings, Lord. I can't wait for my healing. Oh, I'm excited, Lord. Every day I wake up like a kid in the Christmas time. I wake up every day. Is this the day? Is this the day of my blessings? Is this the day of my healing? Is this the day of my miracle? You wake up excited. Wake up every day. Boy, is this the day? Is this the day of my miracle? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I don't know. Lord, I know, I know, Lord. 
I'm trying to stay calm, Lord. I'm trying to stay calm. I don't know when it's coming, but I know it's on the way. I know it's on the way. I'm excited. I don't know when it's coming, but I know it's on the way. So I wake up excited every day. I wake up, hallelujah. Oh, my miracle's on the way. My, oh, my supernatural healing on the way. Supernatural provision on the way. My breakthrough on the way. Deliverance on the way. Whatever it is you need is on the way. So if you know it's on the way, expect it. When you know it's on the way, expect it every day. That's a rhyme. When you know it's on the way, expect it every day. Whoa. When you know it's on the way, expect it every day. Whoa. When you know it's on the way, expect it every day. Say it. When you know it's on the way, expect it every day. Whoa. When you know it's on the way, Expect it every day. Whoa. We know it's on the way. Expect it every day. Whoa. We know it's on say it. Expect it every day. We know it's on the way. Expect it one more time. Hey. We know it's on the way. Expect it every day. Whoa. Hallelujah. Miss T, come on now. I feel a new song. I feel a new song coming. <laughs> we know it's on the way. Expect it every day. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't pray for something. Don't pray for something and don't expect the answer. Don't pray for something and don't expect the answer. When you pray, you know it's going. When you pray, you believe. You, when you believe, you have received it. You know it's on the way. When you believe you have received it, that means it's on the way. And when you know it's on the way, expect it every day. When you know it's on the way, expect it every one time. When you know it's on the way, expect it every day. Every day. Live in expectancy. Live in expectancy. That keeps the devil off you. That keeps the devil off of you. The devil's trying to make you depressed. The devil tried to make you think God didn't hear you. The devil tried to make you think you didn't pray right. The devil tried to make you think it's not going to happen. But when you pray, you know you have received it. When you pray, believe you have received it. You got to believe. You got to see it. See it. Believe you have received it. See it and believe you have received it. And when you know, when you know what you know, it's on the way. And when you know it's on the way, expect it every day. See? Matter of fact, put write that in your book. Write that on a piece of paper. When you when you feel down, just start singing it. When I know it's on the way, when I, know, <laughs> I expect it every day. When I know it's on the way, I expect it. Every, thank you, Lord. When I know it's on the way, I expect it every day. Thank you, Jesus. I know it's on the way, and I expect it. Let's make it. Let's make it personal. Make it personal. When I know, Lord, I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. Oh, Lord, I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. Let's make it a prayer. Lord, I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. Thank you, Jesus. Always put thank you, Jesus. Always put thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. You got to say it. You always got to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. Thank you, Jesus. I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. Thank you, Jesus. I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day your healing is on the way expect it every day your breakthrough i know it's on the way expect it every day deliverance i know it's on the way expect it every day provision i know it's on the way expect it every day supernatural healing i know it's on the way i expect it every day whatever 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 you're going through i know it's on the way i expect it every day you wake up shouting you wake up dancing you wake up praising you stay on fire it keeps you on fire say that you got to encourage yourself you got to encourage yourself you got to encourage yourself we try we try to we want to get rid of this we want to get rid of this get off me Satan. get off me get off me now get off me Satan. get off get off right now get off me Satan get thee behind me Satan in Jesus name get off me I know it's on the way and I expected every day my victory is on the way and I expected Every day, hallelujah, hallelujah. I know it's on the way, and I expect it every day. Hallelujah. We know it, we know it. You gotta know it, you got to know it. And the only way you know it is what as a man thinks so he is, as a man thinks so he is, the way you know it 
is because as a man thinks, so he is. As a man thinks, so he is. And you got to think it. You got to know it. Because when you know it's on the way and you expect it every day, that means as a man thinks, so he is. There is no depression. Hey, Carl, there is no worry. There is no fear. I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. Whatever you're praying for, whatever you're praying for, I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. This, this, this lesson is called, this lesson is, your victory is at hand. Your victory is at hand. Why? I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. Your victory is at hand. Why? I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. My victory, my healing, my breakthrough, provision, deliverance, supernatural healing, whatever it is. I know it's on the way. I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Walk in it. We had the song, we sing it every week, walking in your miracle, walking in your miracle. We do it every jazz day. I'm walking in my miracle. Be excited about it. Be get, get excited. Get excited. You got to get excited. If you expect it, get excited. Don't sit there with a long face. Oh, I hope God heard me. I hope I prayed right. I hope I hope God's not mad at me. Uh, I hope I didn't do anything wrong. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. Oh, I know it's on the way. Expect it every day. I know it's on the way. Expect it every day. I know it's on the way. Expect it every day. I know it's on the way. Expect it every day. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. I know. I know it's on the way. Why? Because I trust him. I know it's on the way. Because I trust him. I know it's on the way. Because I trust him. And I expect it every day. I ha We have no control. We have no control over when. We have no control over when. But when you don't know when. When you don't know when. What do you do? When you don't know when. What do you do? I know it's on the way, expect it every day. I know it's on the way, expect it every day. I know it's on the way, expect, come on, do it with me. I know it's on the way, expect it every day. I know it's on the way, expect it every day. Come on, say it. I know it's on the way, expect it every day. I know it's on the way, expect it every day. Thank, thank you, Jesus. I know it's on the way. Whew. Help me somebody. Help me somebody. Oh, well, praise God. We know it's on the way. We know it's on the way. We know it's on the way. Because when you're on fire, when you're on fire and the Holy Spirit is moving, when the Holy Spirit is moving, you know it's on the way. And you got to expect it every day. Your victory, your victory is at hand. Your victory is at hand. Amen. Weeping may endure for a night. Joy comes in the morning until joy comes. I know it's on the way. Expect it every day. I know it's on the way. Expect it every day. Woo. Help me, somebody. Praise God. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it's already done. When you pray, believe you have received it. When you pray, believe you have received it. You got to believe you have received it. You got to believe you have received it and you shall have it. Don't wonder about it. Don't be hoping and praying. Don't be hoping and praying. Be knowing and praying. Don't be hoping and praying. I'm knowing and praying. I'm knowing what? What am I knowing? I know it's on the way. Expect it every day. I know it's on the way. Expect it every day. My miracle. I know it's on the way. Expect it. My breakthrough. I know it's on the way. Expect it every day. Whew. Calm down. Whew, praise God. See, that's the power. Can you can you feel the victory? Can you feel the power of confession? When you're saying, I know it's on the way, expect it every day in Jesus' name. That is power. Can you feel the power? Can you feel yourself getting joyful? Can you feel excitement when you say that? That's the power. When you encourage yourself, the way you encourage yourself, 
You speak it. You got life and death are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat of its fruit. Don't speak sadness, speak joy. Don't speak negativity, speak positivity. Don't speak evil, speak good. So I know it's on the way and I expect it every day. Thank you, Jesus. I know it's on the way. You got to always say, thank you, Jesus. I know it's on the way and I expect it every day. Thank you, Jesus. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. Praise God. Praise God. Your victory. Point to yourself. Put your hand on your chest. Put your hand on your chest. My victory. My victory is at hand. My victory is at hand. Because I know what to do. My victory is at hand. Because I know what I must do now. I know now what I must do to break this stronghold. I know what I must do to break this stronghold now. Speak it. Hear it. Think it. Do it. Speak it. Hear it. Think it. Do it. Speak it. Hear it. Think it. Do it. Speak it. Hear it, think it, do it, speak it, hear it, think it, do it. I'm trying to burn into your mind. We've been doing this for four lessons. Four lessons we're doing to do this this moment right now. This moment right now is to do what we've been talking about for three lessons. Three lessons, waiting and trusting. The first lesson, second lesson, break the stronghold. Third lesson, break the stronghold, part two. Fourth lesson, your victory is at hand. Why? I know it's on the way and I expect it every day because now I'm going to use my authority and I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm going to do what I need to do to get this stronghold off of me. Whatever I need to do to get this stronghold off of me. Get thee behind me, Satan. In Jesus name, get thee behind me, Satan. I'm free indeed. He who the sun sets free is free Indeed, in Jesus' name. Because I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. That's right. That's right, one of God. That's right. Get that, get that thing off you. Your victory is at hand. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get off me. In Jesus' name. Get off. Infirmity. Get off me in Jesus' name. Negativity. Get off me. Depression. Get off me. Worry, get off me. Stress, get off me. Fear, get off me. Negativity, get off me. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen, Miss T. Me dancing up. That's what's that's a reason to shout. That is a reason to shout. When you think about what you're going through, when you think about what you've been through, and you know your victory is on the way, that is a reason to shout. When you know your victory is on the way, you might start shouting right now because you know what you're going through. You know what you've been through, but you know also your victory is on the way and you expect it every day. And until it comes, you keep praising, you keep shouting, you keep praising, keep shouting, keep praising, keep shouting, expecting. Praise, shout, expect. Praise, shout, expect. Praise, shout, expect. Praise, shout, expect. What are you doing? What are you doing while you're waiting? While you're waiting for the manifestation, what are you doing? Praise, shout, expect. Praise, shout, expect. Praise, shout, expect. That's what you're doing. When you wait on the Lord, when you wait on the Lord, don't be depressed. If you wait on the Lord to move, don't get depressed. Praise, shout, expect. Praise, shout, expect. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Boom. Shout, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, shout, expect. Praise, shout, expect. Why? Because it's on the way. I expect it every day. Calm down. 
<clears throat> I try, I try to calm down. I got it. I got the porch. Uh, I got calm down. The, the Holy Spirit got me, bro, got, got, got me rocking the car. The Holy Spirit got me rocking the car. <laughs> Woo. The joy, the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen, Jackie. The dark cloud is broken. Heaviness be gone. Worry be gone. Stress be gone. Fear be gone. Negativity be gone. Apprehension be gone. Whatever it is, if it's from the devil, be gone. Get off me in Jesus' name. My victory is at hand. Get off me. As Jesus said, you might have to, you might have to do it. Do you hear? Come on, get up, come on, do this. This feels good. Do this. Get off me. In Jesus' name. Say it again. Get off me. In Jesus' name. Worry. Get off me. In Jesus' name. Victory. I claim it. Cause negativity. Get off me. Worry. Get off me. Stress. Get off me. And it feels good to do this. If you're stressed out, if you really feel stressed, get off me. In Jesus' name. Speak to it. Speak the stress. Speak the stress. Speak the depression. Speak to worry. Worry. Get off me. In Jesus' name. Fear. Get off me. In Jesus' name. Whatever it is. If you're under attack, speak to it. Get off me. In Jesus' name. Get off me. Don't be nice. Don't ask the devil permission. Get off me. In Jesus' name. I'm a child of God and nothing shall my enemies hurt me. I am a child of God, devil. Guess what? I am a child of God and nothing shall my enemies hurt me. Get off me. In Jesus' name. That's right. My victory is at hand. If I know my victory is at hand, if I know my victory is at hand, get off me, devil. Every demon in hell, get off me. In Jesus' name, speak to it. Use your authority. Use your authority. Don't abuse it by not using it. I say it every day. Use your authority. Speak it. Think it. Speak it, hear it, think it, do it. Speak it, speak praise, hear praise, think praise, do praise, speak praise, hear praise, think praise, do praise. This whole lesson, this whole lesson is Holy Spirit driven. The only thing the Holy Spirit gave me was the, 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 the poetry, the poetry, and then the lesson is your victory is at hand. He gave me the four poems and he said, your victory is at hand. And to share it with the fellowship. So you put your hand in your chest. My victory is at hand. Because I speak it. I think it. I speak it. I hear it. I think it. I do it. I speak it. I hear it. I think it. I do it. Because what? I know it's on the way. And I expect it every day. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Amen, Lord. That's right. That's right. Because nobody, nobody does it like Jesus. Because I know, I know that I know that I know. With Jesus, it's going to be all right. We sing it every day. Every time I walk, talk, pray, say with Jesus, it's going to be all right. Chris, thank you. Super chat. We sing it every day. Every time I walk, talk, pray, Say with Jesus, it's gonna be all right. Every time I walk, talk, pray, say with Jesus, it's gonna be all right. Why? Because my victory is at hand. Hey, Justine, my victory is at hand. Write it down, make it plain, put it on your computer, put it on your refrigerator, put it on your forehead. <laughs> Yeah. Write it down. Write it down wherever you need to write it. My victory is at hand. Why? Because I know it's on the way and I expect it every day. <laughs> Woo! That's why you're happy. That's why you're happy. That's why you feel. That's why you feel the joy of the Lord. That's why you feel the joy of the Lord when you praise him and you and you praise and we praise and you shout and you and you and expect you praise, shout and wait. Praise, shout. When you're waiting for the Lord, you keep praising and shouting and expecting. Keep praising and shouting. And you'll never be depressed. You'll never let the devil come in and make you feel bad that, they, that God didn't hear you or God didn't like the way you prayed or God is mad at you. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. 
The devil is a liar. He wants to make you feel bad. He wants you to make you feel worse. He wants you depressed. He wants darkness over you. But when you start shouting, when you start shouting, there's power. There is power in praise. The garment of praise. There is power in praise. Whenever you feel down, whenever you feel darkness, whenever you feel heavy, start shouting. Start shouting out what no oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. Thank you, Lord. Get thee behind me, pray. Get thee behind me, depression. I know it's on the way. My victory is at hand. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because he said, He said, whatever you ask in my name, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. John 14, 14. John 14, 14. Yeah. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. So when you say, thank you, Jesus, I know it's on the way. I expect it every day in Jesus' name. Oh, praise God. <laughs> praise God. Thank you, Lord. Get off me. Whew. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going. <laughs> Whew. Holy Spirit got me delirious. <laughs> Whew. Thank you, Lord. Help me, somebody. Who? Help, calm down. Come down. Come on. Who? Who? Praise God. Praise God. That's right. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. I, I'm sorry, devil. We know now. Excuse me, devil. I'm sorry, devil. You should have got me when you. You should have got me when you could have. You, hey, devil. You should have got me when you could have. But guess what? You ain't. Oh, oh. Hey, devil. Ain't no way now. Excuse. Excuse my French. Hey, devil, ain't no way now. I know who I am in Christ. And I know all I have to do is praise, shout, and wait. Praise, shout, and wait. Oh, praise God. We know now. Excuse me, devil. You too late now. Hey, devil, you too late now. Hey, devil, you too late. You missed the boat. I'm a child of God now. I'm praising every day. I'm shouting every day. And I know it's on the way. I expect every day. So get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. In the name of Jesus. Get thee behind me. Because that's right. That's right, Snurf. Praise is what we do. Whew. I know it's on the way. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. My victory, my healing, my breakthrough, my whatever you're praying for, whatever you're praying for, know it's on the way. If you believe you've received it, know it's on the way and expect it every day. That's Mark 11, 24. Mark 11, 24. When you pray, believe you have received it. If you really believe you received it, you are excited. If you really believe you received what you pray for, that makes you excited. That's why you're excited. Because if you believe you have received it and you shall have it, that means you got to expect it. If you don't expect it, it means you don't believe you're going to receive it. Let me say it again. If you don't get excited when you pray, that means you don't believe you're going to receive it. When you believe you're going to receive healing, excited. When you believe you have received it, Get it. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. If you really believe you have received it, that makes you excited. That makes you excited. The reason you're excited is because you believe you have received what you just prayed for. Because you <laughs> because what you know is on the way and you expect it every day. You got to say this. I'm going to make this going to be a T-shirt. I'm sorry. That's our next T-shirt. Our next T-shirt. Our next t-shirt, I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. So when you wear that t-shirt, somebody says, what do you mean by that? My healing, my victory, my provision, my job, my breakthrough, my protection, my direction, whatever I'm praying for, I know it's on the way and I expect it every day. In Jesus' name. Whoop. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Help me calm down, Lord. Help me. Calm down. Who? I'm sorry, y'all. The Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is moving right now. I think, can you guys feel the Holy Spirit moving in you? Can you feel the Holy Spirit moving in you right now? Because you now know, you now know who you are. You now know your victory is at hand. You should feel 
excitement right now. You feel excitement right now. You got to feel it. In, you feel it because you expect it. You get excited because you expect it. The reason you're excited is because you expect it. If you don't expect it, there is no excitement. If you don't expect it, there is no excitement. So when you're excited, that means you expect it. If you're excited when you pray, that means you expect it. If you pray and get depressed, you don't you don't expect it. Why are you praying and don't expect the answer? When you pray, believe you have received what you prayed for. And you get excited because you believe you received it. If there's no excitement, you don't believe it. That's your check right there. That's your self-check. That's your self-check. When you pray, if you don't get excited, it means you don't believe what you just said. If you pray for healing, get excited. If you're praying for breakthrough, get excited. If you're praying for whatever it is, I'm doing everything, Miss T. I do everything, hoodies, everything. When you pray, believe you have received it and you get excited about it. I don't care what the devil does. The devil, it, the devil comes to what? Steal, kill, destroy. He wants to kill your prayers, steal your prayers, steal your joy. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. I'm a child of God and I know I have authority all the authority over you and nothing shall by any means hurt me so get out of my way get off me satan in jesus name get off me right now in jesus name <laughs> amen misty <laughs> the joy the joy of the lord is our strength hey cinnamon the joy of the lord is our strength my victory every time every time you say it put your hand in the chest my victory is at hand my victory is at hand. My victory is at hand right now. In Jesus' name, say it together. My victory is at hand right now. In Jesus' name, my victory is at hand right now. In Jesus' name, my victory is at hand right now. In Jesus' name. Speak it. Hear it. Think it. Do it. Speak it. Hear it. Think it. Do it. And what are you doing? What are you doing? The doing is getting excited. The doing is getting ex <laughs> excited. Hey, Miss Sheila. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're doing, you're doing what I say. Speak it. Hear it. Think it. Do it. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're getting excited because you what? You spoke victory. You heard victory. You think victory. And now you do victory. And you say, thank you, Jesus. I know it's on the way. But, oh, <laughs> I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. See, that's why you're excited. Speak victory. Hear victory. Think victory. And start shouting. Speak it. Hear it. Think it. Start shouting. Speak it. Hear it. Think it. Start shouting. Speak it. Hear it. Think it. Start shouting. See, what are you doing? You're teaching yourself, you're teaching yourself to get excited and you encourage yourself. And when you encourage yourself, like David encouraged yourself, when David encouraged yourself and you speak it and you hear it and you think it and you start praising, you can be all by yourself. You can be in the living room, in the bedroom, in the bathroom, walking down the street, in the car, and you know it's on the way. I expect every day you start shouting. <laughs> Exhale. <laughs> yeah. Hydration time. <laughs> hydration time. <laughs> well, matter of fact, matter of fact, let me for real. Hydration time. Let me calm down for a minute. <laughs> so, I guarantee you. I guarantee that's gonna be a T-shirt and a song. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. It's gonna be. It's gonna be like. It's gonna be like uh, this. La, 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 this. Uh, no. It's gonna be like I see you in the future, and you look much better than you look right now. It's gonna be like it's gonna be drums. I see it already. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. It's gonna be drums, just like I see you in the future, and you look much better 
Then you look right now. We just we just, we gonna jam. We go, I might try. I try to do it by tomorrow. On, on holy tomorrow's tomorrow's worship Wednesday. Oh yes, tomorrow worship Wednesday. We gonna jam to our noise on the way. I expect it every day. We gonna jam on that. We gonna praise the way through. Praise the way to the victory over whatever you're going through because we know it's on the way and you gonna, you gonna expect it every day. And we just gonna shout. We just gonna shout like hand clap praise, like hand clap praise. We just gonna shout. Cause my victory, hand on your chest, hand on your chest. My victory is at hand right now. In Jesus' name, say it again. My victory is at hand right now. In Jesus' name, say it again. My victory is at hand right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Whew. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Whoo. My paper, my papers all over the place. Y'all, y'all got me excited. The Holy Spirit got me all delirious. All right now, all right. Oh now, don't let me get so excited. I don't give you the poems. The Holy Spirit want me to read with you. <laughs> I gotta stay calm. I gotta stay calm enough to read the poems. The Holy Spirit told me to to <laughs> to give it to you, man. Okay, the first poem. The first poem. Now remember, remember, the first poem, now I, now I did this, I did this before, I have, I have read a few of these poems before, but for this lesson, these poems apply again. When you know it's on the way, and you expect it every day, the devil is going to try to steal your joy. I tell you right now, I tell you right now, when you expect it every day, and you, when you know it's on the way and you expect it every day, the devil will try to steal your joy. Be ready for it. Be ready for it. Now, the first poem is whenever he tries it, defeat, I call you out. This next, this first poem, defeat, I call you out. So whenever the devil tries to steal your joy, defeat, I call you out. The name of this poem, defeat. I call you out right now. I call you out right now. You've held me back too long. My faith through Christ has made me see in my life you don't belong. You keep telling me what I can't do. I'll never go far in life. But now get thee behind me, Satan. Go now. I'm through with pain and strife. You thought you had me where you wanted me, stripping my goals and dreams. I almost listened to all your lies that I realized it's not what it seems. Now my Lord has given me strength to achieve what he has for me. Your lies are putting me in the wrong direction. But through Christ, I finally see, I truly see lies, deceit, destruction that's all around. But a new revelation has opened my eyes. You're trying to bring me down. But now I know who I am in Christ, through Christ, I truly see. You need me to choose to look at you, to have any kind of hold on me. So back up defeat, get out of my way. I evict you from my mind. I now walk boldly with Christ in my life, a victory of every kind. Get off me, Satan, in Jesus' name. Defeat, I call you out. That's what it's all about. Defeat, I call you out. Defeat, I call you out in the name of Jesus because my victory is at hand right now. Defeat, I call you out right now because my victory is at hand right now in Jesus' name. Don't put up with the devil. Don't put up with the attack. Don't put up with the attack. Get thee behind me, Satan. Use your authority Every time, get thee behind me, Satan. Use your authority every time, however many times you need it. Get thee behind me, Satan. Amen. Amen, Jackie. <laughs> Praise God. Now, of course, the, the, the scripture, the scripture for that poem is Luke 10, 19. The scripture for that poem, defeat, 
I call you out in Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give you authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Defeat, I call you out in Jesus' name. Whew. Now, that's the first form. Your first step, your victory is at hand. Your, your victory is at hand. You just you just said defeat, I call you out. Now, now, defeat, I call you out. Point number two. Point number two. I got to stay focused. See, once you call defeat out, once you call defeat out, you got to stay focused. The next poem, the next poem, I got to stay focused. I got to stay focused. Listen, we're trying to change something here. You're trying to get victory. You try to get breakthrough. You try to get the devil off your back. You got to stay focused. You got to stay focused. You can't let the devil distract you. You got you on a mission. You are on a mission to break free. You got to stay focused in order to break free. You got to stay focused and do what we talked about yesterday. Use the things we talked about yesterday. You got to break the break the stronghold. And in order to break the stronghold, like the poem says, I got to stay focused. Amen. Here he goes. <clears throat> I got to stay focused and stop listening to the world. The world and all its ways. For all around, things are getting worse. The very sign we're in the end days. The Antichrist spirits are all around attacking everything we do. Lord, I don't, I don't worry or walk in fear because I put my trust in you. I got to stay focused and stop listening to battle that wages within. Flesh versus spirit battle every day. I must stay focused in order to win. As a man thinks, so he is. As a man thinks, so he is. That goes for good and bad. Life and death in the power of the tongue. Speak life and make the devil mad. God gave us the power to choose which way our life will go. Our fate is in our very own hands or how much word we know. For if we don't know the word of God and the power that lies within, the devil will take advantage of you and pull you back to sin. Thank you, Jesus, for being my friend, for you are always there. There is no place I'd rather be than under your loving care. I got to stay focused. And of course, the, the scripture for that poem, the scripture for that poem, Isaiah 26, 3, Isaiah 26, 3, thou should keep him a perfect peace whose mind is stayed, whose mind is stayed on thee. You got to stay focused on him. You got to stay focused on him to keep your perfect peace. To be able to be victorious, to keep your mind stayed on him because we what? Trust. The reason you can stay focused, if you can stay focused on the Lord, it will help your focus everywhere. Let me say it again. If you can stay focused on the Lord, it will help your focus in everything. Because your focus on the Lord is controlling everything else you need to focus on your number one focus your number one focus is to focus on your connection focus on your relationship focus on the lord and it will affect every other area of focus but your first focus your first focus is to keep your mind stayed on him amen now you got your focus now you got your focus number three Poem number three, I must per persist. Poem number three, I must persist. I must persist. Victory does not happen overnight. Victory does not happen overnight. You must persist. You must stay on the attack. We are attacking the stronghold. We are attacking the stronghold. In order to walk in victory, you must per persist, stay on task, praise every day, connect it every day, seek his face every day, trust every day, believe in him every day, 
walking him every day, every day, living by the word. We sing it every week, living by the word. We must persist in order to get victory. You must persist. Don't pray one day and skip a day and pray one day and skip a day. No, every day I must persist. I can't miss a day. I got to stay on task because I want my victory. My victory is at hand. If my victory is at hand, I must persist. I must do this every day because my victory, excuse me, devil, my victory is at hand. So you can expect me to do this every day, devil. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me. My victory is at hand because I know who I am. I know who I am in Christ. I know who I am in Christ. In your face, devil. Whew, get an attitude. Get an attitude. That's right. Get an attitude. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I must persist. I must persist in the goal I seek to keep my eyes on him. Things in this world try to pull me down. Without him, my chances are slim. Chances are slim that I'll see the good of the Lord if I don't get my grip. For the pride of life and the lust of the flesh will surely make me slip. So I must persist and hold on to you, Lord. For within your, within your word, there's power. I seek to keep my eyes on you, for you are my strong tower. I cannot get involved with the pleasures of this world meant to pull me away from God's grace. For if I do, sin will abound and I'll be all over the place. So I must persist. It's important to me. There is no contemplation. I'm here to please God and keep my eye on the prize, spreading the word across the nation. I must persist. See, when you see, when people see you persisting, people see you on fire, people see your faith, people see your anointing, you get them excited. Either, <laughs> either they get excited or they run away. <laughs> when people see your anointing, either they get excited or they run away from you or they hate you because they don't have the anointing. They don't have the anointing. You got it. And they get jealous. Some people, instead of wanting it, instead of coming to you and asking you, how do you get it? Some people would rather run from you or hate you because you have it. No, keep persisting. Keep walking that walk. Keep shouting. Keep praising. Keep expecting. Keep praising. Keep shouting. Keep expecting. Keep walking in it. Keep walking in it. Keep walking in it. Keep walking in it. I don't care about them. We are not here to please the world. We are not here to please the world. We're walking in praise. We're walking in faith. Walk by faith, not by sight. We stay on fire. We always on fire. Forget about the, the, the naysayers, the unbelievers, the, the party poopers. I'm praising God. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm praising God. I, I don't know what. I don't know what. <laughs> There's an old song. <laughs> There's an old song. I don't know what you came to do, but I'm I changed I'm changing the lyrics. Uh, excuse me, I'm changing the lyrics. I don't know what you came to do. I come to step my hands. I came to praise the Lord. I don't know what you came to do. I come to stop my feet. I come to praise the Lord because I know in my praise, in my praise, there's blessings. In my praise, there's provision. In my praise, there's healing. In my praise, there's breakthrough. I don't know what you came to do. I came to stop my feet. I came to praise the Lord. So I'm changing. I change the lyrics. I just change the lyrics. That's that's an old song. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to stop my feet and praise God. <laughs> Amen, Gary. Gary knows that song. <laughs> Amen. Amen, Maranatha. We got you, brother. We got you, brother. Maranatha. Welcome back, brother. We got you in prayer, brother. Amen. Last poem. Oh, the scripture. The scripture for last poem. The scripture for the last poem, Philippians 3, the, the scripture for the I must persist, the scripture for I must persist is Philippians 3, Philippians 3, 13, 14, Philippians 3, 13 and 14. When you press, 
I'm pressing, I'm pressing toward the mark. I'm pressing toward the mark. I am pressing toward the mark of the high calling. You're pressing, forgetting what lies behind me, forgetting what lies behind me. I'm pressing, I'm looking ahead, forgetting about what lies behind me. Forget about yesterday. I'm pressing forward what lies ahead. I'm pressing toward the mark of the high calling. I'm pressing to my victory. I'm, I don't care what I'm going through. I don't care what I've been through. I'm pressing for victory. I'm pressing for healing. I'm pressing for provision. I'm pressing for breakthrough. I'm pressing for victory. My victory is at hand. I'm pressing. Keep pressing. Keep shouting. Keep praising. Keep shouting. Keep praising. Keep shouting. I don't care what the attack is. Keep praising. Keep shouting. I don't care how it looks. Keep praising. Keep shouting. God sees it. God sees it. God knows he's with you. In your praise, he's with you. In your expectancy, he's with you. When you praise and shout, God inhabits the praises of his people. God inhabits the praises of, of his people. So when you praise and shout, expect he is in the middle of your praise. When you praise and shout, God is in the middle of your praise because God inhabits the praises of his people. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. <laughs> There's power. There is power in praise. There's power in praise. I have learned in whatever state to be content. I don't care what you're going through. I have learned in whatever state to be content. I don't care what you're going through. I have learned in whatever state to be content. You're content. I praise God when I'm sad. I praise God when I'm mad. I praise God when I'm depressed. I praise God in good times. I praise God in bad times. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're going through. I praise God anyhow. Because God is in the middle of your praise. The Lord inhabits the praises of his people. So we're going to shout anyway. Amen. Woo. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Burn. Holy Ghost fire. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Who oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Last one. Last poem. Last one. Lord, I pray. I pray each and every day. Last poem. Lord, I pray each and every day. Lord, I pray each and every day. Why do you do that? Why do you pray each and every day? Why do you do it? Because my victory is in hand. Why do I pray each and every day? Because my victory is in hand. My victory needs prayer. My victory needs praise. My victory needs me to expect and direct. When you, when you praise, if you want something in your life, if you want your life to change, Keep praising because my victory is in hand. My victory is in hand in order to get your victory. Keep praising. Keep praising. Keep praising. There is power in praise. There is power in praise. The last poem, Lord, I pray each and every day. Hallelujah. Praise God, Lord. Pray for your home and your loved ones too. Everyone who is close to you. If your walk is too strong for the devil attack, he'll attack other family members too. Plead the blood of Jesus over your family and everyone who comes through your door. Your door. The closer you get, to our Lord and Savior, he will bless you even more. Lord, I lift everyone I know in my family and all close to me. For I know under the shadow, for I know under the shadow of the Almighty God is where I'll always be. I pray for this nation that in turmoil, I even want to pray for world peace. And even though I know end times are near, I still pray for all this to cease. Lord, I pray each and every day 
for the peace I'm trying to find. For I know if I ever want that perfect peace, the word of God must never leave my mind. I pray each every day. The, the closing verse, the one I leave you with, the closing verse, Lord, I pray each and every day for the peace I'm trying to find. For I know if I ever want that perfect peace, the word of God must never leave my mind. My victory's at hand. My victory's at hand. I must never leave the word of God out of my mind. My victory's at hand. I got to make sure the word of God is in me, all through me, over me, under me, coming out of me. I speak it. I hear it. I think it. I do it. My victory's at hand. So I speak the word. I hear the word. I think about the word. I do the word. I speak the word. I hear the word. I think about the word. I do the word. I speak it. I hear it. I think it. I do it. You got to keep walking in it. Walk in your victory. Walk in your victory. Even before you have it. Even before you have it. Expect it. Why? 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 I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. My victory. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. You got to live it. Live it, breathe it, expect it, live it, breathe it, expect it, live it, breathe it, expect it. This is the key to your victory. This is the key to your victory. You can't be playing around. You cannot be playing around. You got to be serious. We say, we sing it every day. I want to change my life. <clears throat> I want to change my life. If I want to change my life, I got, to, I got to lay it all on the line to change my life. I got to get serious this time. And how do you get serious? How do you get serious? You speak the word. You hear the word. You think the word. You do the word every day. Live it. Breathe it. Expect it. Live it. Breathe it. Expect it. I can't emphasize enough. As I close, I cannot emphasize, I cannot emphasize enough. The importance of living what we're doing and what we're saying. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of doing what we've been talking about for four lessons. Four lessons we're talking about waiting and trusting and breaking strongholds. And now today, my victory is at hand. But in order to get your victory, in order to get your victory, keep praising and trusting. Keep praising and trusting. Keep praising and trusting. God is with you. God is right there with you. He knows what, he knows what you're going through. You keep praising. And next thing you know, a miracle comes. You keep praising. A miracle is in your praise. Your miracle is in your praise. Praise God anyhow. Your miracle is in your praise. Forget defeat. Your miracle is in your praise. Forget about stress. Your miracle is in your praise. Forget about worry and all the negativity. Your miracle is in your praise. Praise God anyhow. Praise God anyhow. Anyhow, because what? My victory is at hand and I am excited about it. I am excited because my victory is at hand. I know it's on the way and I expect it every day. My victory is at hand. Hallelujah. Receive it right now. Receive the message. Receive the message. Receive the message right now. Take the time for a moment. Take a time for a moment just to meditate on the message right now. Your victory is here. Your victory is already here. It's already done. Feel the excitement. Feel his presence right now. Feel his touch right now. The peace of God is all over us. The peace of God is all over us. His anointing is, is moving. His anointing is moving right now. His anointing is touching you right now. His anointing is with you right now. God is moving right now. Whether you see it or not, God is moving right now in your situation. Receive it. Say, just say, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, my victory, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My victory is at hand. Thank you right now. Take the time and Shabbat, Shabbat. Thank you, Jesus, my victory. 
victory is at hand. Thank you, my victory, my healing, my breakthrough, my deliverance, provision, protection, direction, my victory is at hand. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, oh, yes, Lord. I believe I received it. I believe I received it, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. In Jesus' name, I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. In Jesus' name, oh, say it, believe it, receive it. Say it, believe it, receive it. I know it's on the way. I expect it every day. In Jesus' name, my victory, my victory, my victory, my victory is at hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is here. The Holy Spirit is here. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. The Holy Spirit is moving right now. The Holy Spirit is moving right now. Thank you. Just thank you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing. Breakthrough. Provision. Deliverance. Healing. Protection. Whatever it is you need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for victory. Thank you, Lord, for my victory. Thank you, Lord, for my victory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Whew, hallelujah. Praise God. God is moving, y'all. God is moving. I'm sorry. God is moving. Can you feel his presence? Give me a thumbs up if you can feel his presence. If you can feel his presence. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up right now. If you can feel his touch right now. If you feel him touching you right now. Give me a thumbs up. If you feel his touch. You feel his presence. You feel the anointing. You feel him moving right now. Some way in your life. He's moving right now. You, If you feel it, he's moving. If you can feel it, he's moving right now. He's giving you the victory. Your victory is at hand. He's already here. He's already touching. He's already doing something. You feel the joy. And you and you don't even, you have no idea why you feel the joy. It's, things are going rough right now. Things are hard right now. But you still feel joy. It looks dark right now. But you still feel joy. You see lack. But you still feel joy. You're going through something right now. You still feel joy. You don't know what's going on in your life. You still feel joy because God is there. God is in the praise. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're going through. God is in your praise. God is in your praise. You praise God Anyhow, I don't care what the devil's trying to do in your life. Praise God. Anyhow, your victory is in your praise. Your miracles are in your praise. Your blessings are in your praise. Your breakthrough is in your praise. Get joyous about it. Cry about it. I don't care if you're crying, shouting, dancing. I don't care how you're doing it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. Ah, go to God. Woo. Praise God. Hallelujah. My victory. My victory is at hand. Your victory. Your victory is at hand. Amen, Maranatha. That's exactly how you know. 
It may be a dark, it may look dark all around you, yet there is no fear. You see, you see no answers, yet there is no fear. You see no no answers, no door opening. You still have no fear because God is right there with you. Because you praise God in darkness, you praise God in stress, you praise God in worry, you praise God in anxiety, you praise God in fear, you praise God no matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what you're going through, you praise God. God anyway and every time you praise every time you praise you slap the devil every time you praise in darkness you slap the devil he's trying to steal your praise but you praise God anyhow and when you praise God anyhow you slap the devil because every time I walk talk pray say with Jesus it's going to be alright with Jesus it's going to be all right. Hallelujah. Who praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Who glory to God. Oh, to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit is moving, y'all. The Holy Spirit is moving right now. The Holy Spirit is speaking to each one of us right now. Because we expect it. The reason we feel the Holy Spirit is touching you right now is because you know it's on the way and you expect it right now for this day forward you expect it every day you expect your victory every day expect your healing every day expect your breakthrough every day expect provision every day whatever you're going through expect the victory over it every day I know it's on the way and I expect it every day the holy spirit wants to make sure the holy spirit wants to make sure i drive that phrase into your mind even even though it's gonna be a t-shirt write it down i will make sure you say this every day write it down on your computer on your forehead on the computer on the refrigerator i know it's on the way my miracle i know it's on the way i expect it every day in jesus name because my victory my victory is at hand. My victory, my victory is at hand in Jesus' name. My victory is at hand in Jesus' name. Oh, always use his name. Don't forget to use his name. My victory is at hand in Jesus' name. I, my victory is at hand in Jesus' name. Praise God, fellowship. Father God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this mighty lesson, Holy Spirit. We thank you for this lesson to help us, Lord, to stay on fire, Lord. As we have accepted the commitment to receive our victory, Lord, we know now to walk in victory, Lord. We know now in order to walk in victory, we must expect the victory every day, Lord. So right now, Father God, touch every fellowship member right now, wherever they are in the world, Touch everyone right now, wherever they are in the world, Lord. Touch them right now with supernatural focus. Touch them with supernatural anointing. Touch them with supernatural victory over whatever each fellowship member is facing right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, and we thank you right now. We thank you right now, Lord, for all the ways you're moving and touching right now. We feel your love. We feel the anointing. And we feel your touch to know it's on the way. And we expect it every day, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before we close this beautiful day with the Lord. I always know someone is visiting or watching for the first time who doesn't understand why we come together around the world six days a week on fire in praise and worship and fellowship six days a week. Having never met physically, but knowing we all love our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which makes us brothers and sisters in Christ. But someone right now doesn't understand that. 
So right now, I'm going into the closing prayers, the prayer of salvation and the closing prayers. As always, as always, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As always, please be sure, no more typing until after the closing prayers. Hold your typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the closing prayers is deleted. I respect for Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, I'm talking to the person listening. You've been here the whole time. And you heard the praise, the worship, and the fellowship. But you're not connected right now because right now, your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Families turned away from you. Friends stabbed you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yet somehow, you find yourself on this channel and have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. God brought you here because God sees what you're going through right now. Physically, spiritually, or emotionally. That's why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back into a life of sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back to the devil's world. And now the devil's telling you, once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie for the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said a prayer of salvation and you fell back into a life of sin, there is nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So whether you're walking in depression, fear, and hopelessness, or you're walking as a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Either way, pray with me. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I want Jesus to be Lord and Savior of my life. And I commit right now I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without lifting up you first. Create in me, O oh Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that is not like you in Jesus' name. And if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is the right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us, that teaches us, that guides us, and also convict us. We are not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Feed your spirit. Starve your flesh. Feed your faith. Starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you'll feel in your life. Which is God letting you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, name unnamed, seen unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of mind, out of a spirit, out of our homes, out of marriages, back to the pit of hell for which you all came. In Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy, loose peace beyond understanding loose restoration lord restore restore every area of our life loose reconciliation lord bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil's attack lord 
And Lord, please give a hedge of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes, we'll be healed. And Lord, we say it and confess it every day. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Every day, confess it, see it, live it, breathe it, expect it, get excited. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough. Supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, let your blessings, Lord. Let your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on the fellowship and financial need. Whatever it is. For you shall supply all our need according to your riches and glory. But Christ Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything when the Lord is my shepherd. For with a head and not the tail, we're above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we may be a blessing to others. We are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We are children of God and nothing shall by any means hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know, Lord, now we know every day, Lord, every day we take time to see it. We take time to see the miracle, see your miracle every day, see it, believe it, and receive it into your heart. And as you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when, but because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up could be a day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his face of divine approval upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch or speak to. A blessing to everyone you pray over. A blessing to everyone you pass by and bless. Without opening your mouth. Because the love and light of the Lord is all over you. 24-7, 365, including the Pierre. So Father God, all these things we ask, Lord. All these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. The fellowship say, Amen. Amen. Amen.